Hi, this is Steve Shira with Spotlight Sonoma, and with me today we have Natalie Chilorzo for mm -hmm. uh, Russian River Brewery, and we are so excited because this is a very special week. Thank you for being here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so why don't we tell the audience at home what is so special about this week? Sure. The next so, two weeks. Yeah. So uh, so we are, are just actually kind of near winding down our 16th annual release of Pliny the Younger. Yeah. Uh, it's a triple IPA that we make uh, every winter. And we happen to release it the first Friday in February, which we've been doing for 16 years. Yeah. Um, and originally it was just a, a beer that um, we thought we would make and um, to kind of help drive some business to our downtown pub um, during the slower winter months. And so that's why um, we released it in February. And so really, for the first five years, uh, the beer was just, just another beer uh, on our menu. Yeah. Um, but in 2010, um, with the uh, kind of the advent of beer rating websites like beeradvocate.com and ratebeer.com and you know the rise in social right. media and just kind of this immediate chat room amongst beer enthusiasts around the world and Pliny the Younger was voted the best beer in the world by a very small handful of people who had tasted it. <laughs> um, and so ever but since worked, yeah. that day, in that first Friday in 2010, um, we've had uh, uh, lines, if you will, and, yeah. and quite a big turnout uh, ever since. That's that's <laughs> awesome. And now there's something special this year that you guys are doing for the very first time. Yes, yes. So for the very first time ever, we bottled Pliny the Younger. So um, we're doing this it. Is, it's a beautiful package. Beautiful. Yeah, These yeah. These bottles are gorgeous. Yeah, so that. this is our kind of our signature 510 mil liter bottles so you'd find beers like our flagship Planet of the Elder, mm -hmm. uh, Blind Pig IPA, um, STS Pills, all of those come in, in this particular single serving bottle if you will. So, yeah. so we did it this year um, because we really wanted to do something special for all of these people behind us standing in line <laughs> waiting for hours usually in the pouring down rain. This year we've been blessed with beautiful weather. I was just about to say I've been in the rain waiting in line yeah. for this beer. So you're well aware working. what the weather is normally like in Northern California. In, in February right. so this is unseasonably warm and dry so we have a nice break this year but you know all these people come year after year from all over the world and they stand in line for hours on end and uh, and we appreciate that and we don't take it for granted ever and so Vinny and I decided that we wanted to do something special just for them it's not available in our gift shops and it's not available for distribution so you, you have to to be these nice people waiting in line to come in and, and get a table or a seat at the bar in order for the opportunity to get two bottles. And that is yeah. fun. I mean, that's kind of kind of a nice little treat for standing in line, obviously, and being yeah. such a loyal patron for you guys. Talk about this new location that we have here in Windsor and what it what it means to the economic impact for the local town. Sure. So, um, so Vinny and I decided in 2014 that we were ready to to build a new brewery. So we kind of we have a, a nice brew pub downtown. Uh, we're pretty limited my space down there it is you know city parking um, it's not our building so and there's really nothing more we can do to that space and you know with our popularity increasing over years thankfully um, we just really needed we needed more space and we also we wanted to make better beer and we wanted to make a little more beer and so um, so we decided that we would build our dream brewery and we we went on the hunt for property here in Sonoma County which was hard it was very hard to find we finally secured this piece of property in 2000 2016 so we bought these 15 acres that includes four acres of beautiful wetlands over there to the west um, that's that's uh, legally protected so we have a lot of wild birds and plants and stuff out that's there cool. and uh, and we are um, the stewards for that property as well um, and so we embarked on this um, amazing journey of building a brewery <laughs> from the ground up so this was literally a field a greenfield project and so we completed construction in October of 2018 um, we survived wildfires and um, all kinds of things, yeah. yes, so, um, yeah, but we, we finally opened in October of 2018. Um, we had the, the Plan of the Younger release at both breweries last year, and then, uh, again, this is only the second year here in Windsor, but I think word is out that this brewery is not only quite a bit bigger than our downtown pub, but we also have two acres of free parking. Right. And I think that's really important I to think a lot it is. of customers. It's definitely a nice draw. We don't have to battle 
for the parking spots exactly. and everything. Yeah. And then last year you were telling me that there was a pretty significant economic impact to the town of Windsor. Yeah, so the Sonoma County Economic Development Board has been doing these annual impact studies on our two-week release. And so I think this year might be the fifth or the sixth year that they've done it. So last year um, they did it and we had obviously the, the addition of the new brewery. And so we had two breweries mm -hmm. um, for which to, to do these, these surveys. And so last year we contributed nearly $4.2 million to the local economy in just two weeks. So that's direct and that's indirect. That's pretty substantial. Yeah, that's people coming in and staying in hotels, eating at restaurants, going wine tasting, visiting other breweries, you know, shopping, whatever. Just, just you know, spending money in our community, which yeah. is really, really important right now. This year, I, th I think that with the bottles, um, you know, the turnouts have been two to three times what they were at least here. How, how many people do you think have, have come through? I would already? estimate probably about eighteen to twenty thousand between <laughs> the two breweries. That's so. Amazing. Yeah, so I feel like because of the bottles, um, definitely seeing more people. Um, I feel like uh, it's been a big draw for people that have never come before, and I, and I think that um, those people are definitely spending a little more time here and, and checking yeah. out the community. And, you know, with the great weather, um, people stick around a little bit longer because it's a little more fun to get yeah. out and about and go I, golfing and right. you know, do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do in February. In February. Yeah. Exactly. And I think, I mean, this, this location, these compounds, is so beautiful. Thank I actually you. got a behind-the-scenes tour a while ago, which, yeah. if you haven't done it, I recommend going on it because it's just you. it's just a cool thing, and I did see a really cool picture of when you had some of your tanks being shipped from Germany. Yeah. Under the Golden Gate. Yes, the the uh, the ship when our ship yeah. came in. Yeah, I went down to the Marin Headlands and I camped out for three hours and um, waited to get that shot. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it that's was pretty so exciting. Cool. Your ship only comes in once, you know. Right. Hey, it sounds good. <laughs> I, and what a ship it is. Yes. So We love it. Yeah. Natalie, thank, thank you so you. much yes, for joining you. us on, on today on our show. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to Spotlight. <laughs> Sonoma. Again, my name is Steve Shira, and we look forward to bringing you more content here right in the near future.